Prop Designs. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we are going to try out the Pinata Color alcohol ink. I'm really excited about this. This is the Exciter pack. You know, Pinata is really known for their brass and copper turning out really gorgeous. So I am very excited to show you guys. Uh, we're also going to be using uh, isopropylene at 99% and our Upo paper is medium. This is 11 by 14 inches. I'm also going to be using one of these bottles uh, filled with uh, the alcohol. I found that it might have a little more control than when I'm using my eyedropper. My eyedropper kind of puts it all over the place, so I want to try this today. And if you're looking for anything that I'm using today, you can check the link below. It's on my Amazon store, and I'll put the links up for you guys. A little commission comes to me to help me make these videos and try new products for you guys at no additional cost to you. So it's really, truly appreciated when you guys go through my shop and purchase these products or whatever products that you're interested in. So what's great about these um, alcohols, I really love that they gave kind of a description here. Um, it says here for slick and non-porous surfaces such as glass, metal, plastic, leather, resin, um, copolymer, clay, UPO, and more. I love that because if you're just starting out and you don't know where or what you wanna put your stuff on, that is a great description to help you kind of choose your first project. And it's always good to wear a mask when you're working with these kind of inks. Uh, myself, I have asthma, so I have a little bit of a respiratory issue. So I like to make sure it doesn't get worse by not using a mask. Even for those that do not have, you know, any respiratory issues, I, I say it's always good to just have something in your face because it's so strong. And I also always put some like a uh, paper towel underneath just so it's not staining everywhere. One thing that I love about these little bottles is you also get like the cutest little funnel <laughs> so, so you can fill up your item. I just wanna go over each individual color like I have in my other tests, such as the Bria Reese and Ranger inks. I also did Copic. You can find the Bria Reese testing on the link above. And what I normally do, we'll just put a little dot down of each one, then we'll add alcohol, and then we'll create something awesome, most likely abstract, but we'll just kind of go with it and see how it all turns out. Now I have tested uh, this before. I just want to try it before I uh, put it out on a video. Uh, I only tried it one time, so I don't have a lot of experience and I didn't try it on the Upo paper. I did it with my resin mixture. Uh, I created a moon actually and I'll put the picture up right here. So it turned out really beautifully and the brass that I used in the center was so shiny. I was so pumped about that. And I also do a lot of fluid pouring with um, different paints and mixtures. If you wanted to see my 10 pouring medium video, uh, definitely check it out. All right, so I'm just gonna get to it. Okay, we're gonna add one drop. It is blue violet. The next one is pink. And you wanna make sure that you're always shaking your alcohol inks just because uh, they will settle at the bottom. Wow, that pink is so bright, I love it. This is coral. Next is teal. And what I like to do is check to see if there is a bit of a stain underneath. It's okay if, to me, if it does stain, but I wanna know how long I have to work with the color. Next is golden yellow. Now I'm really excited to see how this next one is. It is called Pearl. So, you know, 
can it be used on its own or is it probably best mixed with something else the glitter that is coming out of this pearl is outrageous now, once you're getting really close to it look at you can see there's almost like a weird the solution and then everything is kind of centering sorry for all the shadows i just really wanted you guys to see this the next is white As I thought, you're not really gonna see much <laughs> of that on a white piece of paper, but we're still gonna put it down, see if it leaves a stain. Brass. Gorgeous. And it's doing the same thing as it did with that pearl. And this guy is copper. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I put them quite close together. I'm gonna start adding some alcohol and we're gonna see if there's kind of a stain or not. Um, so for the purpose of the video, as I always do, kind of like to channel out this hair dryer. <laughs> um, so I have music on there. So you're not gonna hear the hair dryer, but it is definitely on. is a little bit of that purple right there in but that's okay like it actually isn't as bad as I thought it would be this blue violet is quite thick once it's dry to get moving so I put a little more of that pink on there and I'm gonna start moving it around and I'll add some right here on it it's just kind of blended so we'll see what we can do I'm really happy with all of them so these colors blended so well together and the reason why I like to let them dry a little bit before I want to know how much working time I have with them or if I make a mistake if I add alcohol will I be able to fix that mistake or is it kind of set in stone these guys once you add that alcohol you're fine you can keep going now the pearl the white the brass and copper after adding tons of alcohol, even when it's set, it just, the pearl was okay to move a little bit, but not too much. And as you can see, those two barely wanted to move. So that's why I do that kind of test first. So now I'm just gonna play around and we'll see what we can come up with, guys. And if you really like working with alcohol ink, you can check out my video above. I made like a Ranger alcohol ink pyramid using Ecopoxy. You can also check out my pages at Amber Prop Designs on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that little bell and you'll be the first to get notifications of any videos that I send out. So any of the paintings that I sell on AmberPropDesigns.com, a portion of all my sales go to Crohn's and Colitis or Mental Health Research. So if you do purchase a painting, thank you so much, you guys. I truly appreciate it. And if there is a charity that you would prefer that's really special to you I definitely would put that money towards that charity instead of the ones that I've chosen so what I did notice with the coral actually it turned almost like a peach so that's one thing to just keep in mind we'll keep adding more coral to see how deep we can get it though
So what I like to do, I've done this before on other pieces, and I'll show you a picture right now. And I really liked how it was just such a smooth texture. So what I do is kind of go back and forth. And I will eventually put the hair dryer to it, but I like to have it kind of just move around and dry a little bit on its own. You can see here, that was actually the pearl. So it kind of is sticking making it almost looks like a crater underneath everything You can see as the more you kind of move it back and forth it it takes a while but it does eventually start to dry on its own we're just working with a lot more at one point and so this painting you definitely need an air a space that has a lot of air moving around I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, I was really shocked how much I loved playing with this. I've used other inks before and I'm not sure, is it the colors, what it is, uh, but I just, I think a lot of it had to do with the metallics. It brought out so much different colors. Like over here, although it's purple underneath, it brings out a different tone. Okay guys, so here's the end result. Overall, I love how this goes to the gradient, to the purple. I really love this technique. I find it relaxing. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you have any other products uh, that you'd like to see, definitely let me know. I love trying new things out and experimenting with them. Thanks so much, you guys. Just go with the flow.